NASCAR heads to New England this weekend, New Hampshire to be exact, for this Sunday's and better 301, with the green flag dropping at 3 p.m. Eastern. New Hampshire Motor Speedway is considered a shorter flat track with the likes of Phoenix, Richmond, and to a certain degree, the newly raced on Gateway being the most comparable in driving style on the NASCAR schedule. Checking out a few track trends in history heading into this weekend in New Hampshire, we see that NASCAR first started racing here back in 1993, doing so twice a season all the way up until 2018. Over the last 10 races in New Hampshire, we've seen an average of 6.8 drivers per race lead a lap, 7.5 cautions per race over that same stretch, 14 of the last 15 winners have drove a Ford or Toyota, and 7 of the last 10 winners all started their respective race 8th or worse. Checking out a few drivers to watch ahead of this weekend's race and starting with somebody who's quietly flown under the radar, and that's Kevin Harvick at plus 1500. Harvick has finished 6th or better in 8 of the last 10 races in New Hampshire. He's top 10 in 18 straight Phoenix events and in 10 of the last 12 Richmond races, and he's quietly propelled himself up to the 4th best average finish on the 2022 season at 13th. The next guy I'm watching is actually last year's winner of this event, and that's Eric Almarola at plus 2,500. Almarola led 25 laps en route to his only victory on the 2021 season here last year. He's finished 11th or better in four straight trips to this track, including leading multiple laps in all four of those events. He placed 12th in Phoenix and 5th at Gateway earlier on this year, and he has top 10s in two of his last four Richmond races, and he's finished 13th or better in nine of his last 10 trips to Phoenix. The last guy on my list is not on the outright radar, but definitely in play for a top 10 this week, and that's Cole Custer, whose outright odds are currently plus 20,000. Custer has finished 8th and 14th in his two Cup Series races in New Hampshire. He finished runner-up during his last Xfinity race here back in 2019. He's performed pretty well at Phoenix, finishing 16th or better in three of the five Cup Series races there, and he's coming off of his first and only top 10 on the year in Atlanta last week. If you like this video and want to see more great content from the BetSports Media Group, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to be alerted anytime BetSports Media releases more content. And if you like any of these three odds prior to practice and qualifying, make sure you head over to FanDuel Sportsbook where they're offering a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. Good luck on all of your wagers, especially any you're making for the Ambetter 301, and I'll catch you at the end of the week with my entire betting card for the race in New Hampshire.